Welcome, I'm Brian Hayes, and this is Automation of the Week. Every Tuesday, we release another video showing you how to build out an automation in Salesforce or Marketing Cloud account engagement. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use lead assignment rules with queues. Lead assignment rules are useful because they automatically assign a new lead to somebody based off logic within your system. It helps ensure that that lead is gonna get responded to you know, much faster instead of having to wait for a sales manager to assign that lead out. And Salesforce has some pretty useful features to help you build out that logic. You don't even need to use Flow or another one of those automation tools. It's basically built into the system. Queues are another feature that you should consider using when you're thinking about lead assignment. A queue is essentially a holding place for a lead. It's a temporary owner, and you can use that queue to give access to other users within your org. So for example, you might have defined territories within Salesforce. That's perfect for lead assignment rules because maybe based off their state, it's gonna be assigned to salesperson A or salesperson B. But perhaps you have leads come in through the internet that don't have a state assigned to them. Well, instead of having to just default all of those leads to one of the users, you can assign them to a queue as a backup. And then it's up to the salesperson, whoever can respond fastest and you know, grab that lead and take ownership of it, it's up to them to then reach out. Most often, queues are a holding place for records, and it gives access to those records to certain users who can then take ownership of them when they have time. Very useful for leads, since we want people to respond to leads as quickly as possible. Let me show you how to set that up. The first thing you wanna do is actually create the queue. You can do that in the setup area. Under the users menu, you'll find we have a queues menu item. I've got a couple queues here already, but they're for the case object and the chat transcript object. Let me click new, and now we can create our lead queue. Go ahead and give your queue a name. You can also assign an email to this queue so that as new records are created and assigned to the queue, it emails out a notification. If you're using Omnichannel, you can select a routing configuration from Omnichannel, but we're gonna skip that today. And then you'll see supported objects. So you can create queues for all sorts of objects within the system. In this case, we're just interested in leads. So I'm gonna select lead under selected objects here, and then scroll down and you can choose who should be a member of this queue. This is really dependent on how your internal security settings are set up. So if you're the type of organization that has everything public, where all the users can see all of the leads, you can actually just skip this and hit save because it doesn't matter. Everybody already has access to those leads to begin with. If you're the type of organization that is much more locked down and has more private records, then you would certainly want to assign some users to the queue here. Otherwise, you'll have a lead record that is owned by a queue, but then nobody will be able to see it. You can choose those users individually and add them to the queue, or you can click the drop down here and you could choose public groups. Under public groups, we have all internal users as an option. This is what I will typically do. So even in organizations where they have private leads or private opportunities, if something's in a queue, you typically want that to be accessible to everybody. That way, different salespeople can take ownership of it and other users in the system also have visibility into those records so they don't get forgotten. So I'm gonna select all internal users here and then hit save. If you click into the queue and you look at the URL bar, you can see the ID of that queue. It starts with the two zeros here, and you can use this ID in Flow if you wanted to use that tool to assign ownership to queues. In our situation, uh, we're not gonna use Flow for this. It's pretty straightforward. We'll just use the standard lead assignment rules. So that's the next step. If you scroll down on the left, look under Feature Settings, then look under Marketing, and you'll find Lead Assignment Rules. Click on that, and you can create new lead assignment rules here. One thing to note, when you create a lead assignment rule, only one of them can be active at a time. And within a lead assignment rule, you can have additional rules, additional pieces of logic that are determining what gets assigned to who. I'm gonna click into my standard one here. And within this active rule, we have rule entries. This is where the logic lives. And you can see in order, my first rule entry says, if the country is US, USA, United States, or United States of America, it's gonna be assigned to David Rose. I then have a second rule entry here, and let's say, let's look at title. So if we have somebody that is not equal to the United States, but their title contains executive or chief, I'll use a comma for the two different entries, 
you know, then we might want to assign it to somebody else. And instead of a user, let's assign it to a queue. Select my lead queue and hit save. If our lead goes through these different rule entries and it doesn't match any of them, then it's going to be assigned to the default lead owner. And you can change that under lead settings here on the left hand side. So the way this is going to work is when a lead is created, it'll check to see if the country is US, USA, United States, etc. If it is, it'll assign it to David Rose. If it doesn't match that criteria, it'll then go on to the next rule entry and it'll check if that title contains executive or chief. If it does, it'll be assigned to our lead queue. If it doesn't match that either, then it will be owned by the default owner. Click on lead settings on the left hand side. And here you can set that default lead owner. Right now it's set to David Rose. For most clients that I've worked with, lead assignment rules works great. There's no need to have more advanced automation than this, but that's not always the case. Sometimes we do want to expand on the logic beyond what's possible with lead assignment rules. In those cases, it makes sense to build out a flow. And then within flow, you can assign that lead to an owner. And instead of using the ID of a user, you can use the ID of a queue. So you've got a lot of flexibility if you need that extra functionality that you get from flow. But for most people, I think lead assignment rules and building out queues within the standard Salesforce setup menu will work just fine. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.